Hey, I'm JR, and today we are here to talk about two Marantz home theater receivers, the SR5014 and the SR6014. Now, first off, they're Marantz, so we know that they're built well, they're built to last, the amplifiers are heavy duty and musically very warm. So they have that Marantz sound that we've come to know and love over the years. The SR5014 is a seven channel amplifier with 100 watts per channel. The 6014 adds two more channels and 10 more watts per channel. So it's nine channels at 110 watts. First, let's talk music. Marantz has been making music sound good in homes for years. And uh, these home theater receivers, uh, they of course do movies and soundtracks and surround sound, but they are also really good at making music sound great. They of course do have a phono input for a moving magnet cartridge on a turntable. Uh, there are plenty of digital and analog audio inputs, so you can get your music in using optical or coax digital or analog RCA connections. Of course, you can Bluetooth your music in from your phone, but I think a lot of people are going to use the built-in HEOS. HEOS is Marantz's multi-room wireless music system, and it's built into these receivers so that you can use an app on your phone to control whatever music you want to listen to, whether it's from a computer on your home network or any of the streaming sites, uh, Spotify, Pandora, etc. Uh, HEOS works with all of those, and uh, you can play that music and have it sound amazing right here on these receivers. There's also a USB input that you can uh, load up a whole bunch of high-res music files onto a USB memory drive and stick it into this receiver, uh, and it will decode those high-res music files all the way up to 24192. So if you got some high-res music, you're really going to love playing it on this receiver. Uh, and if you do have anything that's not so uh, high-res, the uh, Marantz Digital Audio Expander, the MDAX, uh, is going to take that compressed music and open it up and make it sound big and beautiful. Now, these are home theater receivers, which mean they of course have built-in Dolby and DTS decoding, including all the way up to Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, so you can get your height speakers uh, in your ceiling or speakers that fire up to give you that sort of overhead surround effects. Both receivers do come with Odyssey, which is a speaker calibration system. So once you have all your speakers plugged in and connected, you take the included microphone, you plug it into the front of the receiver, uh, and you let the receiver go through its paces and play sounds on your speakers so that it can acoustically measure your speakers and your room, which gives you a lot of power. Odyssey does a lot of neat stuff once it knows how your room sounds and how your speakers sound. For example, dynamic EQ, multi-EQ XT, and dynamic volume. Both the SR5014 and the SR6014 feature 7.1 channel preamp inputs in case you wanted to use an external decoder, such as one built into a high-end Blu-ray player. They also have preamp outputs for all channels. The 5014 has seven 7.2 preamp outputs, the 6014 goes all the way to 11.2 preamp outputs. Those allow you to add external amplifiers for any of the channels in your system, as well as additional power for even more Dolby Atmos or DTS-X speakers. As far as video inputs go, there are eight HDMI inputs on the back. All of them are 2.0B, capable of handling very high definition signals, including up to 4K at 60 frames per second. They do feature the latest high definition copyright protection 2.3, and they can handle all the flavors of high dynamic range or HDR. That's HDR10, Dolby Vision, and HLG. And if you use the native apps on your TV for streaming, such as Netflix, Amazon, and your TV has enhanced audio return channel, so does this receiver. That means you'll be able to get Dolby Atmos piped back in from your TV into the receiver. So if you're streaming from your TV, you get the best surround sound possible. Both of these receivers feature two HDMI outputs. On the SR5014, both of those outputs are parallel, which means they send out the same video signal. You can have the video going to two different displays, maybe a, a TV on the wall, as well as a projector with the screen for movie night. The 6014's HDMI outputs are discrete, which means if you wanted to send two different video sources to two different displays simultaneously, you can do that with the SR6014. There's also a neat little feature built in I don't think a lot of people know about. It's called Video Select Listen, which allows you to listen to one source while watching another source. I'm thinking maybe you're watching a football game and you'd rather listen to an internet radio station with the radio broadcast feed as opposed to the TV announcers. This receiver will allow you to listen to internet radio stations or many other audio sources while watching an HDMI source. So it's pretty cool. 
Of course, the receiver does have Bluetooth uh, for receiving music from a phone, but it also has a Bluetooth transmitter built in. So if you wanted to, say, have a set of Bluetooth headphones and listen to whatever you're watching on TV from the receiver on your Bluetooth headphones so you're not disturbing everybody else in the house, you can certainly do that here as well. In addition to having Bluetooth built in for receiving music from your phone, you can also use this as a Bluetooth transmitter. So if you wanted to watch TV and not have it play on all your speakers, you can throw a pair of Bluetooth headphones on and set them up and pair them with this receiver so that you can listen to whatever you're watching on TV on your wireless Bluetooth headphones. And lastly, these receivers are completely compatible with Alexa and Google Home. So uh, once you get music playing, if you want to control it, if you want to tell it what songs to play, you can do all of that by uh, talking to your Alexa or your Google Home. Thank you so much for watching. That's the Marantz SR5014 and the 6014. If you have any questions on these receivers, hey, throw them in the comments. We'll be glad to answer them there. Please hit like on our videos, subscribe to our channels. We'll make sure to get you a whole lot more cool videos like this one.